Hi everybody, welcome to S&S Bio Info. Today's topic is loss of inheritance. Loss of inheritance. Grigor Mendel conducted several monohybrid crosses in garden pea plants. Thus, he produced several results and based on his observation in F1 generation and F2 generation, he proposed two major laws. They are known as the law of dominance and the law of segregation. They are the law of dominance and the law of segregation. To learn more about the laws, we need to consider a monohybrid cross. A monohybrid cross is a cross in which two parents are crossed with the one pair of contrasting or opposing traits. Then here let's consider a character, the shape of the seed. The shape of the seed of pea plant. Then shape is a character. The shape has two opposing traits such as round and wrinkled. Round, wrinkled. Then round is the dominant trait, wrinkled is the recessive trait. So, uh, in monohybrid crows, uh, that uh, Mendel conducted cross pollination of the two parents with the one pair of contrasting trait. So, let's do that. First of all, cross pollination of these parents. Then parents, parents, round and uh, wrinkled wrinkled then the genotype of the parent the genotype of the parent can be written like this capital R for a particular trait because a trait is controlled by a pair of alleles wrinkled is represented by using small r then uh, gamete formation so gametes so gamete receive only one allele from each pair at the formation time during meiosis so that uh, it is represented like this. Okay, then at the time of fertilization, fertilization, as it is a cross pollination, male parent with the female parent, then uh, with a different combination, two different uh, combinations, the male gamete uh, fuses with the female gamete. So that uh, we get uh, uh, that uh, co different combination. Here we get only one combination because here one type of gametes, here also one type of gametes. So uh, that if we fuse with uh, this type, with uh, this type, all time we will get uh, that uh, capital R and a small r. Again capital R and small r. Again capital R and small r. Again, capital R and a smaller. So, all F1 plants are uh, with the plants with the round shaped seed. Round seeds. The next step is the self pollination of the F1 plants. Uh, the selfing of F1 plants. Selfing of F1. So that both parents will have same type of genes. Heterozygous dominant, capital R with a small r. This is a genotype of the parents, both are same. And the gametes are gametes here, as it is a heterozygous dominant, two types of gametes are formed here. Two types of gametes. So, fertilization is the next step. Fertilization. This can be shown by using a planet square. So, uh, 2 into 2, 4 boxes must be drawn here. Uh, that um, gametes of the male parent should be written on the box, over the box like this. Uh, gamete of the next parent should be written like this. So, uh, we can find out the genotype of the F2 plants. F2 plants. So, capital R, R with, uh, capital R with the capital R. The genotype is RR. Capital R with a small r, the genotype is uh, capital R with a small r. Again, we get heterozygous, dominant. Finally, we get homozygous, recessive. Here, uh, the phenotype of these plants, first one is round. We have to consider the first letter, round. Second one also the round. Then, third one also round. 
fourth one wrinkled. So here the phenotypic ratio is 3 is to 1. That means 3 round, 1 wrinkled. The genotypic ratio is 1 is to 2 is to 1. That means 1 homozygous dominant. 2 heterozygous, these two, heterozygous dominant. 1 homozygous recessive. This is the result of F2 plant in monohybrid rose. Now let's look into the law, the law of dominance. So you have got the result of F1 generation and F2 generation. In the F1 generation of the monohybrid rose, all F1 plants expressed only the dominant trait. That's a round shape. That means uh, the, the law of dominance states that a characters are controlled by a pair of discrete unit called factors or alleles. In a dissimilar pair of allele, one allele dominates over the other allele. So now let us look at the result of F1 plant. So this is the result of F1 plant. Heterozygous dominant. Here the capital R represent the dominant allele, small r represent the recessive allele. Here, what's the expression of the F1 plant? That is a round shape. The round shape is dominant over the wrinkle shape. That means the dominant allele is dominant over the recessive allele. That is the law of dominance. The law of dominance states that characters are controlled by a pair of discrete unit called factors or alleles. In a dissimilar pair of alleles, one allele or factor dominates over the other factor. That is the law of dominance. The next one is the law of segregation. Segregation means separation. The law of segregation states that there is no blending or mixing of traits because alleles segregate each other at the time of gamete formation. During meiosis, gamete receives only one allele from each pair of a character because a character is controlled by a pair of alleles. So let's uh, look at a, an example. Homologous pair of chromosome and the genes for a particular character. Father's and mother's chromosome, homozygous dominant pair of alleles. Here, at the time of meiosis 1, the chromosomes segregate each other so that the alleles also segregate each other. So, the gummy receive any one of the alleles from this pair so that there is no blending of the allele, no mixing of trait. So that in the previous example, round shape seed with the, the wrinkle shape seed, there is no mixing of the trait. The sh uh, that the shape around is not mixed with the sh uh, shape uh, wrinkled. No intermediate uh, shape is observed both in F1 and uh, F2 generation. Only the parental traits are expressed both in F1 and uh, F2 generation. I hope you understood. Then thank you and have a nice time.